Godzilla. This movie is directed by Garrett Edwards and it stars Aaron Taylor Johnson, Elizabeth Olsen, Brian Cranston, and Ken Watanabe. And his movie is basically a story of what would happen if monsters appear out of nowhere and start terrorizing this world. In this movie, we follow the life of Fort Brody, which is basically Aaron Taylor Johnson character, as he, he has lost a lot of stuff in his life, and so he's trying to save the people around him. And he's jumbled up in a situation where he's involved and have to try to save the world from all these monsters. Before you go panicking and thinking, wait, what? There's not a Godzilla movie coming out? Well, no, actually there won't be another Godzilla movie until in a couple of years. But I'm actually reviewing Godzilla from 2014. And the reason I'm doing so is because Kong Sky Island is just around the corner. I'm planning to watch it in a few days, hopefully. And this is basically, they're part of the same monster universe, the Monsterverse as they call it. And Godzilla is the first movie of that universe. So I might as well make a review of this movie, since I'm gonna make a review of Kong Skull Island pretty soon too. So before I go on telling you guys what I think of the movie, I'll just say this ahead of time. I haven't actually seen the movie until a few days ago, so this is actually my first time watching the movie. So this experience watching it is the first time and not like a second repeat, which could expect something differently. So this is basically my first time viewing. And while watching it, I was actually impressed and amazed by the the action, the performance, the special effects, and the Godzilla itself. It is totally mind-blowing. I don't hate this movie, and it's not like I feel like it's the best movie of all time, but it's definitely a good movie that I wouldn't mind watching a couple more times in the future. First of all, when you go to a movie like this one, a disaster movie basically, and also a movie titled Godzilla, or how can Watanabe say it? Godzilla. Well, you expect the action and the effects and how the Godzilla look, right? Well, I could tell you Godzilla looks amazing in this movie. The way how the director take, make the shots and capture the Godzilla, size-wise, is amazing. The first time I saw the first time we actually see Godzilla as in a clip, it was like sort of human's perspective. And when I saw Godzilla's size, and I'm like, holy shit, that is big. And so you, the director really knows how to make the shots and make Godzilla look big. And Godzilla doesn't look bad either. Godzilla look really cool, the special effects, the other monsters, as I say previously, they look really nice, well done too, CGI wise. What I like best, aside from the effects in this movie and the action, I really love the performance, especially from both Aaron Taylor Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen. Aaron Taylor Johnson carried most of this movie, and I, I'm really impressed by his performance. He did really well. And Elizabeth Olsen, her performance is mind-blowing. I'm a fan of Elizabeth Olsen, and her performance in this movie was quite was, was very well, actually. There is a lot of emotion, emotional depth given to her character, but she doesn't overact, which could actually ruin and actually happen in some of these movies. But Elizabeth Olsen doesn't overact, and this also goes for Ken Watanabe, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and also Brian Cranston. And Brian Cranston was actually really good in this movie, with the small amount of time he's actually in. I didn't know he's gonna. Well, spoiler alert. I guess you've watched it. It's from three years ago, so I'm pretty sure you've watched it. And so Brian Cranston, his character dies off pretty quickly, but whenever he's on screen, his performance was really good, and all their performances as a whole was really compelling. I'm impressed by the performance by the cast. There, this is definitely a good group of actors and actresses in this movie. In a movie like this, usually the fans expect a lot of action, and there is lots of action in this movie. But what a lot of filmmakers usually do is they focus so much on the action and you want, they want to showcase as, as much action, especially in monster like this, they want to showcase the monsters as much as possible. That they sometimes have a lack of character development that could actually make the movie good, could make the movie compelling. But this movie actually does pretty good job balancing both the action, the increasing tension, as well as the character development. The character development in this movie is really good, especially from Aaron Taylor Johnson's character, as he is the main character, basically. 
but also the act not the action the how they build the tension to this movie and how they give balanced amount of time between the characters and the monsters is well done by the director like i said i really enjoy the cgi in this movie and especially the camera work how the directors use the camera and great and there's actually really really well shots in this movie and how the directors film it so that the Godzilla look big like I said because of the size I want to see more of it which basically brings to sort of the issue in this movie the title is Godzilla and you expect a lot of Godzilla in this movie and there is well the, the final act was satisfying because you see Godzilla versus the Muro the whole time just fighting against one another. The Godzilla using the Godzilla just attacks the Muro and the Muro attacks back. It's really satisfying the final act, especially since the building tension since the beginning. They they have been teasing all these Godzilla moments. Godzilla's about to attack. Godzilla's about to go out from the water. Godzilla just rampaging through town. They tease these moments, but they don't show Godzilla in action. And even if they do, it's only like for a split second. And despite the tease that pays off in the end for the final act, it's sort of a bit not disappointing. It's more of they tease it, but they don't show it. You know, you know how that feels. It's like, oh, I want to see it so bad, but they didn't show it. So that's probably the the main problem I have with the movie. But it's not a big problem itself because in the end it pays off. Well, even though I'm disappointed, I'm guessing I'm not as disappointed as people who actually watch it in the theaters because. Like I said, it's been three years since this movie came out, and my friends, one of my friends in particular, keep on complaining about this movie, saying, "I don't, I don't like it because they don't show Godzilla as much." And I'm like in my head, "Well, if they don't show Godzilla that much, I shouldn't expect a lot of it anyway in this movie." And so I didn't have a high expectation to see lots of Godzilla, but I was impressed by the by the by the appearance of Godzilla whenever he's in the screen, and also the score in this movie is really interesting. When I'm watching the movie, I can I have the score in my head. I'm like, oh, this is nice. There is a building tension, the thriller, the action. It actually makes it feel like a thriller, kind of thriller of a movie. And I actually still remember the score, even until now. And that's that's when you know that your score is good. The last point I will put out is I really enjoy how they actually take the human's perspective, not the eye, not just the eye view of what's going on. But they actually go with the story of the human characters. They follow Aaron Taylor Johnson's character. They follow Elizabeth Olsen's and Ken Watanabe's character and Brian Cranston. They follow all these characters and perceive it as if what would happen and what would what would human do if all these monsters actually appear in this world? Would we just watch and stand until like, uh, what are we gonna do, guys? But they actually have, they actually go to a plan, they go detail to the military, to the scientific part of it. And they explore what humans will do if this kind of situation actually happened. And how they deal with it, and how, it's very smart writing. I, and this is what helps the character development grow. And which makes this movie really great, not just action movie, as a movie as a whole. Basically, this movie looks incredible, it sounds great, the action is terrific, there is great performance and the final act man the final act is just plain awesomeness monster versus monsters battling and you also get to see what the humans are doing and how how they're dealing with all this it's a great mixture of action thriller and also drama a bit of it but it's still great i would recommend this movie but like i said if you expect a lot of Godzilla action going in you might be disappointed luckily for me I sort of know that there won't be much Godzilla action going in So I didn't have that much high of an expectation But if you're expecting like a Pacific Rim type where there is every homonymous there's gonna be action in it Then you will be sort of disappointed going to this movie So with that I would give Godzilla an 80% Guys Tell me what you think. Have you seen it? Have you not seen it? If you haven't seen it, go ahead, watch it, and go back here and tell in the comment section what you think of the movie. Do you agree with my thoughts or do you disagree? Tell me which part of the movie you like or which part that you dislike. And also, are you excited for Kong Skull Island? Because I am. I'm planning to watch it this weekend because it's practically out this weekend. 
If not this weekend, latest I'll watch it next weekend. I'm gonna watch it with my crew. I have a movie going crew that we call ourselves the Movie Brawl. We actually have a Instagram page and I've been writing reviews, movie reviews in that Instagram page and we also have movie news in there. So go check it out if you wanna see more of my reviews. The link is in the description below. Also, if you enjoy this video, feel free to like it and subscribe to me also. I would really appreciate that. And if you're looking forward for a Logan spoiler review, well, it's gonna be coming out this weekend. I'm going to film it with one of my Movie Brawl member. And it's gonna be fun, it's coming out soon. So look forward to it. And until next time, Jiao out. <laughs>